Hello Aquarius, welcome back in. What's up? Okay. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's quickly dive into your reading and see what messages show up for you. This is for 1st to 15th, uh, the first half of August, right? Let's see what messages show up for you. How? Oh. All right, just give me a second. Aquarius, reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. You know you don't have to force a reading on your situation, right? So, let's dive into your reading and see what's coming up for you. Moving on, the Six of Swords energy. Something is done and dusted and somewhere you're realizing that there is a new light shining in front of you. It's time to move on towards something better, something bigger, something worth moving forward, right? Wow, two sixes, by the way, very interesting energy. We have material and spiritual prosperity. For a lot of you, um, Aquarius, where you're heading is, of course, something worth the try, something worth the change. I see material and spiritual growth coming your way. But sometimes you have to leave some things behind. And that's the most difficult task, isn't it? For a lot of you, I'm picking up that you're moving towards light. You're moving towards brightness. But again, it's sometimes harder to leave something behind, isn't it? We're going to see. What is the situation about? What are you moving on from? And what do you need to hear? <laughs> right? So, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Amazing energy to start with. Uh, so, if right now moving on or moving forward in this journey is appearing a little difficult for you remember that something bright is waiting for you there right amazing aquarius first through 15 aquarius all right where are you coming from queen of swords here you are for a lot of you, I see you guys coming from a place, wow, where you're quite clear in your mindset what to cut out, what to leave behind, asking questions, getting clarity, giving clarity, oh, okay, wow, very interesting energy. Seven of Wands, bottom of the deck, Five of Wands, Magician. For a lot of you, uh, Aquarius, I feel you might be dealing with somebody who has been a little hard to deal with, right? This person has some commitment issues. can be a Sagittarius, by the way. Now, when I see the Knight of Wands, it doesn't always mean that this person is a player until I get the devil along with the Knight of Wands. But yes, this person has some consistency issues. You're going to feel that, okay, this person is not consistent. Um... Whatever this energy is, work, love, money, I don't know, family. There's lack of consistent effort from somebody's side. And intuitively, you know that. Intuitively, you know that there is lack of consistency. Pretty straightforward. Time to set boundaries. Time to ask questions. For a lot of you, if you are feeling consistency issues from, from somebody, if you're feeling within you consistency issues, you're feeling that, okay, I don't know whether I wish to settle here or not. Intuitively, you're just feeling that I need to explore more options. You want to be more clear. Whatever is the whatever is the picture I see, you want to be clear in your terms, in your thought process, in your outlook. You want to be very clear whether you want to settle or not. Or the person you're dealing with. You want to have a clear mindset. Dude, are you looking to settle here? Are you looking for that? If not, be clear and honest. You might find somebody very stubborn to deal with this person is a little pushy i see they are very firm on their boundaries right i do feel that this person is trying to manifest something but they are very conflicted about that you know so it's very clear that they want to manifest something they wish to manifest something but they are just all conflicted about what to do about it right and that is one of the reasons why this person is quite pushy about things we're going to clarify we're going to clarify right very interesting energy i just feel here that queen of swords is showing me that you want to be clear whether to settle whether to not to settle i see intuitively you have the clarity what you wish to do here so you want to be very clear in your 
wow in your conversation with this person i see your terms are very clear moving forward totally makes sense so as you proceed forward i see see look at this person they're going to be heard about your decision but they're still carefree they're like i don't know let me see you know let me just find my way in this week in this time period aquarius i see you guys becoming quite clear in what you want to do what you wish to do setting boundaries making it very clear justice is pretty clear energy i you know look at that in both the cards sitting with your sword sitting with your clarity being very honest in your requirement what you truly want or what you truly expect and for a lot of you you might end up detaching yourself from this person and walking away right accepting the de destiny accepting the change accepting the turn around the shift i do feel the real problem is lack of consistency on your part or this person's part both ways i feel that you want the balance and if you are feeling that i am not able to settle here it's pretty clear that you're going to be vocal about it and if you feel the person you're dealing with is not able to settle you're going to be pretty clear about that too this person eventually is deciding to take the leap of faith heartbroken of course they're heartbroken because you might be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio strong piscean energy already on the table i'm picking up fixed energy also libra gemini libra aquarius sad energy cancer pisces scorpio this person is emotional about you they have a lot of emotional feelings about you but something is unhealthy something is unhealthy that's that's pulling this person away i won't say obsession but yeah they have a sort of attachment towards you which which might end up a little unhealthy right and they're going to feel a little heartbroken but you know what the thing i'm picking up for this person is that they're not going to try to work things out in a healthy way rather they're like okay i'm hurt you're hurting me okay fine i'm going away so yes they're hurt but they're not able to deal with that pain in a healthy way they're going to come back to it i see you deciding to move on i see you deciding to move on and pretty clear see moving on and look at that right let's see more aquarius where is the situation heading we're going to clarify a few cards here and uh, get some advices right moon six of cups all right changes are hard changes are hard ten of swords oh my god look at that now the situation is turning into an ego clash aquarius try to be you know try to have this in your mind already because this person is not taking it in a very healthy way they're not digesting the situation in a very healthy way ten of swords four of cups feeling very dissatisfied okay tired exhausted feeling like ending it giving up this person is thinking that because you are deciding to move on they are thinking of giving up on it but somewhere there is some dissatisfaction surrounding the situation let me know in the comment section for a lot of you i see you are the one deciding to leave the situation behind but then what is that you know what is that emotion what is that energy that's that's pulling you back or hurting you moon feeling disappointed about this whole scenario somewhere you're missing this person somewhere you still miss this person aquarius and they miss them too or miss you too right they hurt ace of swords we want to clarify a few cards some truth some clarity is going to be coming out and for a lot of you i see we're going to clarify whether this is the final nail in the coffin or this is a turning point in this connection we're going to clarify right Let's see. Aquarius. Wow. What is the Queen of Swords energy? Intuitively, you're feeling something. Someone specific, I felt that your intuition is telling you that you need to see more 
what's out there for you. You want to be free. You don't want to settle or commit. Or this is other way around. You're feeling intuitively that this person is not in the energy to settle. Sun. Can be dealing with Leo. Eight of Cups. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that you wish to find your happiness somewhere else. Eight of Cups twice, moving on. I'm trying to... Three of Wands. Definitely waiting for something else. Waiting for something else or waiting for something new. Aquarius, there's a lot to explore, of course. I'm picking up that you have a big field to explore. But, you know, whenever you decide to leave a situation behind, there are always two factors working. One is push and one is pull. Pull factor is this. This is pulling you away this person, away from this person. Some new excitement, something new. And on the other hand, there is a push to get out of the situation. Justice, let's see, what is that push? I see you finding it hard to invest in this person or this person is not opening up. Whatever be the case, I see there's lack of trust in the situation. You just can't open up. Just can't open up. For a lot of you are getting attracted to this new journey, this new venture. You have this feeling of taking the leap of faith, seven of cups. The vision is not clear. I'm still getting this energy, Aquarius, that wherever you're deciding to head, the vision is not clear right now. But Eight of Cups, I see it's quite clear that you want to move forward. You want to explore something else. You want to move in a new direction. Look at that. Queen of Swords. Wow. You're very clear that you want to change this. Now, what is this change? Ending it. Refreshing it. Taking a break. Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Swords. You're very clear in what you want. You're very clear in what you want. But somewhere at heart, you're going to feel a little cold and abandoned. You know, the problem is that for someone very specific, I just felt that the situation is heading towards a deadlock, right? Or right now, the situation is in a deadlock. What to do about this deadlock? What to do about this deadlock? That's the problem, you know? Whether to cut it out, finish it off, making it clear that these are my terms and conditions, and I'm not, get, I'm not going to settle for anything less than that. If that is the point you both are reaching, it's it's heading to a deadlock. Because somewhere I feel you miss this person. Somewhere you do have a soft corner for this person, I feel. But for a lot of you, I'm picking up that what you're getting in return is so big that you are doubting the, the, the commitment, the longevity in this connection. Queen of Wands. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I want to know what is the truth here. What is the final truth here? Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, Death. See, it's a big transformation. It's a big transformation. You have to decide whether you wish to completely get it, get over with it, or. You want to transform it because the situation cannot stay the way it is anymore. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that you guys have reached a deadlock here. And you decide whether it is a big change in coming back together or it's putting the nail in the coffin. Because Ten of Swords is clearly showing me that something has to be concluded. Things cannot go forward the way they are. I see the apology. I see the compassion. Page of Cups. For a lot of you, you're going to be hearing from this person. But the problem is this person is having ego. I see the situation might end up getting into a deadlock because of ego, right? It's like what you want, you're going to get what you want only when you give me what I want, you know? Something on that front. Deadlock. You both are heading towards a deadlock. So for a lot of you, I see it's very important to talk about what change is needed. Peaceful conversation is needed here because the situation is heading towards a deadlock right let us see uh what advice will show up for aquarius in this time period aquarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter let's see what advices show up right 
in this time period. Aquarius, what do you need to hear about the situation? Reverse the roles if needed, I've already told. Do not force anything on your situation, Aquarius. Sun. Aquarius, it's time to, you know, this was the first card also when we clarified the sun. It's time you head towards your happiness. It's time you head towards your stability, right? A time of great joy and success, brilliant ep epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. You're heading towards something marvelous here. Six of Pentacles again, look at that. We have Six of Pentacles twice. Good that you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others who are less fortunate. Six of Pentacles, a lot of investment. Beautiful. For a lot of you, uh, I'm just picking up that the situation requires a lot of effort. A lot of effort from your end, from somebody you're dealing with. And the sun is showing me that you're heading towards your abundance. You're heading towards light. Can you remember that? You're heading towards light. The problem is that what is going to be the term? Are you just putting the coffin in the nail? I'm sorry, nail in the coffin. Are you putting the nail in the coffin? Finally? Or? Or you're going to give it another try? Or you're going to give it another chance? Because for a lot of you, it cannot move forward this way anymore. It, it, it's heading towards a deadlock. Right? So I'm going to leave you here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.